Okay, today we're doing lesson 5.10, solve multi-step measurement problems. So we've done the math warm up, we're on page 51 now. It says here are estimates of the farthest distances that some animals would move in a day. <clears throat> so they've given us four animals. The, um, and the distance that they typically travel in a day. So we've got a three-toed sloth who travels 30 meters a day. So that means in the entire day, the three-toed sloth travels 30 of these. So that's not very much. So they're like, maybe... No, they're way smaller. I know. <laughs> um, okay. A snail travels 2,500 centimeters. So remember, a centimeter is about the size of the tip of your finger. So we need to figure out, though. So they gave us the, thir the um, sloths in meters, the snails in centimeters, the dromedary, which is like a camel, in kilometers, and then the tortoise in meters. Since two of these are in meters, we're going to get the other ones in meters. So, <clears throat> uh, if we look at the snail, the snail travels um, 2,500 centimeters in a day, right? Do you guys remember the conversion for centimeters to meters? Caitlin? Yes, good work. So one meter is equal to 100 centimeters, right? So what would you multiply 100 times to get 2,500. Deep? Oh. 25? 25. And if you do it to the bottom, you yeah, do it to the top. top. So what is 1 times 25? 25. 25. So that means a snail in one day travels 25 meters. <clears throat> So that would be even less than the sloth, right? Okay. <clears throat> and then we have the dromedary who travels 40 kilometers. Please put that away. Um, oh, and on our right here, guys, I want you to write slash 25 meters. Okay. And then for the dromedary, Dromedary, whatever, however you say it, they have kilometers. So we know that one kilometer is how many meters? Ryland? Um, a thousand. <laughs> one thousand. So we, if we have this camel creature who travels 40 kilometers, what do you do to a 1 to get it to be a 40, Jada? Uh, <clears throat> what do you multiply 1 times to get 40? Uh, 1 times 4. 1 times 4 is 4. What do you multiply 1 times to get 40? Uh, 10 times 1. Gentry? 40. So when you multiply one times anything, Jada, remember you get have it's the other number. Okay, put your hand down, please. So if one times forty is forty, what is one thousand times forty? Forty thousand, right? So the camel dromedary travels forty thousand of these in a day. I bet I can do that. No. Let's stop with the blurt map, please. 40,000 meters in a day. <clears throat> so now we've got all of them in meters. So it says put the animals in their 
Uh, oh, and the giant tortoise is 500 meters in a day. Put the animals and their travel distances in order from the shortest to the longest. So whose travels the shortest distance? Shout it out. The snail. The snail. The snail. So I want you to write the snail, write snail first. And then underneath the snail, we're going to write 25 meters and then a line and 2,500 <clears throat> centimeters, okay? So the snail travels the shortest distance. What is the next shortest, Olivia? The big-toed sloth. Yep, the sloth. <clears throat> so the sloth is next, and the sloth travels 30 meters. What's next? Ariana? The giant tortoise. Okay, so we're going to write tortoise. Now you need to spell that correctly because they spelled it for you right up here. You don't have to put the giant in front of it. But tortoise travels 500 meters. And then the one that travels the longest distance. <coughs> would be the dromedary. And we'll have two numbers for that. We've got the 40,000 meters or 40 kilometers. Okay. The next question says, do you agree with each statement? Explain your reasoning. It says a giant tortoise can move two times as far as a snail moves in a day. So let's look at the giant tortoise and how far um, do they, does this giant tortoise travel in a day? 500 meters. 500 meters, okay. And it says a giant tortoise can move two times as far as a snail. Well, how far does a snail move? 25 meters. If we multiply 25 times 2, does that equal 500? No. Do you have a question? <clears throat> um, what would we have? So 2 won't work, right? Because what is 25 times 2? 50, right? So what do we need to do to this 2 to make this a 500 instead of a 50? Derek? Make it a 20. Yeah. Make it a 20. Because watch now. We've got our basic fact. 25 times 2 is 50. And now that we've made this a 20, we can bring over that 0. So it's not 2 times. It's 20, 20 times. So here's what we're going to say. Do you agree? No. A to giant tortoise can move 20 times as far as a snail in a day. We don't agree because they said a giant tortoise can move two times as far as a snail can move in a day, but we figured out it's not two times, it's 20 times, right? Okay, the next question, or the next one says, a dromedary can move 80 times as far as a giant tortoise can move in a day. So a giant tortoise moves how far in a day? 500 meters, and if we multiply that times 80, let's see what we get. What is 5 times 8? 40. 40. 40. And
And then how many zeros do we add on? Three. Three. Does that match what the dromedary travels? Yes. 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 So, yes. Five hundred meters times eighty equals forty thousand meters. So it does work. <clears> hey. <throat> okay. Big bottles, little bottles. Hurry up, Ava. Here are six water bottles and four clues about the amount of water they each hold. So, <clears throat> we have to figure out how much water is in each of these water bottles based on the clues. <clears throat> the first clue says, one bottle holds 350 milliliters. Does that help us right now? No. <clears throat> Ava, you'll get caught up. Go sit down, turn the page, and you'll get caught up when uh, um, Jen Carter comes. Okay. One bottle does, we don't know which one holds 350 milliliters, so we have to go to the next clue. Um, size B holds five times as much water as the bottle that holds one liter. Does that help us right now? Uh -uh. Yes. yes. <laughs> Let's listen to it again. Bottle B. Oh, yeah. This bottle holds five times as much as one liter. Yeah. So it has. It doesn't five. matter. We're only working for B. We're looking at B right now. We'll figure that out later. But will this clue help us figure out how much water is in B? Yes. Yes, yes. because B holds five yes. times as much as one liter. What's five times one? Five, five liters. So bottle B holds five liters. So write five liters on bottle B. Okay. The next clue says the largest oh. bottle holds 20 times the amount of water in the smallest bottle. Does that help us right now? No. No. It says one bottle holds 1,500 milliliters, which is three times as much water as bottle E. Will that help us figure out bottle E? Kind of. Yes. Absolutely it will. What we know is that 1,500 is three times as much as what's in here. So can we divide 1,500 1, by three and see what goes in there? So if we divide 1,500 divided by three, what is 15 divided by three? Five and then we bring over two zeros. So that means that bottle E, I mean, sorry. Yeah, bottle E is 500 milliliters. So 500 milliliters in bottle E. Now let's go back to the first clue again. It says one of these bottles has 350 milliliters. Do we know which one that is now? Yes. Yes, Chevy, which one is it? F. F, because 350 is the smallest amount, right? It is smaller than 500. So we know that F is 350 milliliters. Now, it says the largest bottle holds 20 times the amount in the smallest bottle. Do we know how much is in the smallest now? Yes. yes. And so we can multiply 350 times 20. What's our basic fact? Olivia? 35 times 20. 
No. Rylan? 35 times 2. 35 times 2. Okay, basic facts are ones you got to do in your head. So we can't multiply 20 in our head as easy as we can do 2. Make sense? So what is 35 times 2? 70. 70. And how many zeros do we add on? 2. 2. So now we know that the biggest bottle holds 7,000 milliliters. Not liters. <clears throat> okay. Now we have two bottles left. And this one says one bottle holds 1,500 and one bottle holds one liter. How many milliliters are there in one liter? Zeke? 1,000. 1,000. Do we know now what all of them equal? Yes. Because 1,000 is smaller than 1,500. So this is the one liter bottle. And this is the 1,500 milliliter bottle. <clears throat> so now we've got them all figured out. What we have to do now is convert the ones that are in liters <clears throat> into milliliters. So there is 1,000 milliliters in each liter. So if we have five liters, how many milliliters will that be? Kinley? We have five liters. How many milliliters will that be? If each, mil, each liter holds 1,000 milliliters. Allie, help her out. Yep, 5,000. Okay, so 5,000 milliliters. <clears throat> and then one liter equals how many milliliters? 1,000. So this bottle, Z, is 1,000 milliliters. Okay, so now let's go down here. A is 7,000. B is... 5,000, C is 1,500, D is 1,000, E is 500, and F is 350. All right. So problems like that where they give you a few clues, you have to keep going back through the clues as you learn more information. Because the clue, the first clue we read didn't help us immediately. So once we figured out though, that we had that bottle E was 500, then we knew that it was F that had to be 350 because 350 is smaller than 500, okay?